Farmers have a lot of things on their minds coming to the Farm Progress Show, but for some, the subject was tillage. And we're going to talk about that over the next few minutes with Dave Sender, who is sales engineer with Environmental Tillage Systems. Who are you anyway, Dave? ETS? Environmental Tillage Systems is a, we're a manufacturer of, of zone tillage equipment. It could be likened to strip till. Uh, kind of our mantra is to help farmers profitably revitalize their, their land. Tell us a little bit of the history of the company. It was founded by a farmer, which it, it I always find is so intriguing because so many of the great ideas, so many of the productive ideas that we use on our farms today came out of farm shops That's and right. eventually led to companies. That's right, yeah. Environmental Tillage Systems was founded by a farmer. In a nutshell, he was really frustrated with what he was finding on the market. So he, he decided that if I, if I can't find it, I'm gonna do it myself. So that's what he did. And, and for the first handful of years with environmental tillage systems, we built the machines right on his farm. And in 2008, moved into a more formal manufacturing facility. And we are still in that location today in Faribault, Minnesota. Faribault, Minnesota. Yes, sir. That's a great ag area. Yes. What is the soil warrior? Why is that uh, your approach to tillage? So the soil warrior is an, it's a construction grade piece of equipment. In fact, a lot of our customers say that we've built it maybe too heavy in some cases. Uh, some of the finer details of the machine are, are tapered roller bearings bathed in oil rather than a greasable hub. Case hardened pins on, on your pivot points. We want to make sure we, we offer a machine that, that allows guys to run and spend the minimal amount of time down. The more time they spend down, the less money they're making. So we want to build a construction piece of equipment that helps those guys build their ground and, and have healthier, healthier soils in the end. Does it help you with other operations? So the Soil Warrior allows farmers to, to blend that fertilizer throughout the profile of their zone. So depending on the, the tillage attachments that we offer, we've got a couple of different types of row units. Farmers can do anywhere from 12 inches of tillage depth on a 12 inch wide zone uh, to as shallow as maybe just a couple inches. But through that entire zone, you're, you're blending that fertilizer. So rather than broadcasting across 100% of your field, you're, you're putting that fertilizer on a 30 inch row, for example, you're tilling 33% of that field. So you're putting that fertilizer where the plant can use it, when, they, when it can use it, making it more available. Uh, Part of the reason why we call it zone tillage is, is we, we, we call it really two different zones, a work zone and a growth zone. So the work zone is, is your seed bed. The growth zone is just because there's residue sitting on it and you might not think that anything's happening, we're rebuilding that ground. We're bringing organic material back to that soil. We're bringing microbial life back to that, earthworms. All of those types of things are coming back into those areas. So when we say revitalize the land, that's one of the, the, the ways we're, we're talking about it. Uh, in addition to that, that zone tillage helps farmers keep their soils where they should be. Rather than lose it to wind or water erosion, that residue is helping everything stay put. And it's very possible this way to make fewer trips across the field, right? Absolutely. We've got customers uh, in 19 different states, uh, a couple provinces uh, in Canada, uh, even as far away as New Zealand and Australia. The reason I bring that up is we, we see farmers using our equipment on a lot of different grounds. Everything from sand to, to tight clay, growing a, a lot of different crops. Obviously, Minnesota and Illinois, Iowa, we're used to mostly beans and corn, right? We've got uh, farmers growing sugar beets and potatoes. Uh, Kentucky, we've got a gentleman growing tobacco. Um, canola, milo, wheat, so a lot of different crops of guys are finding ways to be successful with this. Dave, thanks for sharing the story with us. It's easy to tell why you're excited about it. Yes. Dave Sender, sales engineer for Environmental Tillage Systems, based in Minnesota.